Hello third graders, welcome back. This is Mrs. Smith. Today we are doing unit three, lesson seven, which is on page 191 of your book. So go ahead and grab that. We are continuing to practice telling time. Um, earlier, we did, well, maybe you made your clock, but remember that our hand is the shorter hand and the minute hand is the longer hand. I think about it as like the word hour is shorter, um, even though in time the hour is longer. And then we did to the 15 minutes um, on both digital and analog. AM and PM, remember PM is like pickles and mustard, so like lunchtime and dinner time is PM. And then we did to the nearest five minutes and the nearest one minute. And now we're going to talk about uh, times before and after the hour to five minutes. So this is a way that you will hear time being told and it's helpful to know what it means. So for example, let's look at the first one. We have, uh, it's almost one o'clock, right? We're almost at the one, which means it's still 12 o'clock. And then the minute hand is on the 45. So this is either 45 minutes after 12, or 15 minutes until one. Because this part is 15 minutes, and after that happens, it'll be one o'clock, and then this part is 45 minutes. Um, so let's go ahead and write that down. 45 after 12, or 15, till one those are two ways you might hear that and you have to understand that that really means in both cases 12:45. okay let's try the next one so it's a little bit after two o'clock here so it is 2 20 let's just write that down right there 2 20 so you can say 20 minutes after which hour 20 after 2. How many minutes until the next hour? Well, we know an hour is 60 minutes, right? So that'll be 40. So 40 till 1. <laughs> oh, not 1, 3. <laughs> Silly me. 3. Till 3 o'clock. The next hour would be 3 o'clock. All right. It's kind of the opposite because it is at the 40 minute mark. So it's almost six o'clock. So it's 540, right? We're past the five, not quite at the six. So it's not quite six o'clock yet. And it's 40 minutes after. So it's 40 after five. Five o'clock happened 40 minutes ago. And it's 20 minutes. 20 till the next hour is six. Okay, so I'll do this next row with you and you can try this last one on your own. Our hour hand, it's not quite eight o'clock yet, so it's still seven. And then this is uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Or if you just know that this is 30, then this is five minutes after. So it is. 7.35, which could be said as either 35 after 7, or how many minutes until the next hour, and what's the next hour? 8 o'clock, so it's 25 till 8. My personal opinion is this way of telling time is a little bit confusing, but, you know, it's important to know what people are saying if they're telling you time in this way. Um, here it's almost 2 o'clock. It's not quite 2 o'clock yet. So it is uh, 11, or sorry, <laughs> 1, there's the 11, 55. So it's 1, 55, which is 55 
after one or five till two. Sometimes people will even say it's 55 after. And if you haven't been paying attention to the time all day, you might not know that it's been one o'clock already. So that's just a hint. Um, keep keep uh, paying attention to the time throughout the day, you know? Okay. And then here it's almost nine o'clock, not quite. So it's at 8.40. Here we're 10 minutes after the 30 mark. So we'll say 40 after eight and then here it's 20 minutes until the next hour 20 till nine nine is the next hour after eight okay you go ahead and try these ones on your own and then here it's the same thing but rather than just being on the five minutes we're going down to the individual minute okay so after you've tried these three on your own come join me over here so here we have uh the hour hand it's a, it's past six o'clock so it's six and then here this is the 25 minute mark we're about there so that's 26 and then that one's 27. i don't know if you can really see that but it's just two dashes after the 25. So 627. Um, so we can say 27 after, I'm just going to put the number six there because I'm running out of room, after six. And then here, an easy way to do this is I know this amount of time is 30. And then it's just three more to get to the seven, right? So it's 33 till, what's the hour after six? Seven, 33 till seven. You know, if you haven't already started just like keeping in mind that the three is at the 15, the six is at the 30 mark, and the nine is at the 45, and then this is at the 60 or zero, it's really helpful. So to start thinking in terms of your quarter hours, your fourths of hours. Um, all right, our hour hand, it's almost two o'clock. So it's one. I know that five times 10 gets me to 50, but this is two after. So this is 152. So then we'd say 50. Two after one. I'm gonna put the number there. And that would leave how many minutes? Well, that's five plus three more. Eight. So eight till what would the next time be? Two o'clock. Eight till two. All right. Here, our hour hand is almost at one, which means it's 12 o'clock. Oops, not 12, zero, zero, just 12. And then our minute hand is past the 45 by three minutes. So 45 plus three, 48. So we say 48 after 12 or what do you add to 48 to get 60? You add 2, you're at 50, and it's 10. So 2 and 10 together is 12. So 12 till, what's the next time? 1. All right. Go ahead, try the rest of these on your own, and then uh, come join me for next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.